Hello, my beautiful Geminis. Welcome to your weekly love forecast horoscope for July 31st to August 6th. Thank you guys so much for liking, sharing, and subscribing, and thank you to my members. I really appreciate all of your support. And also, if you'd like a person read, go to my website, jenniferwalkerz.com, or check out the description box below. All right, my darlings, what are we going to talk about today? Well, the bottom of the deck shows me you guys have some kind of victory coming in for you. Okay, so we're going to talk about the day today. The love interest feelings, okay, the block chalets and challenges, and the overall outcome. And if you guys like it this way, you want me to continue this way, hit that like button. Let me know in the comments below. You can do both. Let's jump right in. All right, so what's going to happen? My Gemini's Romantic Love Life for July 31st to August 6th. Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay, so remember this is going to be uh, July 31st, August 1st, August 2nd, August 3rd, August 4th, August 5th, and August 6th. This is gonna be your love interest feelings. This is gonna be the love interest feelings, the blockage delays and challenges this week, and then the overall outcome. So if you're confused at all, what's gonna happen with the day-to-day, -day, don't worry, stick with me till the end, we're gonna cover everything. So we got three swords. There is someone who is brokenhearted about you. Something broke apart. They feel very sad, okay? Could be an Aries, Sagittarius, Leo energy. Possibly there also could be a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy involved in the situation. Okay, so let's go now to the blockage here and see what's going on. All right. Mm. Yeah, there's some stuff happening this week. Okay, we got the Five of Swords going here. Um, fives in general talk about some kind of conflict some kind of big changes okay this this is the challenging card okay fives um also if you can even look at the scene here what's going on with the scene it's like someone is like yeah i won but look you see there's there's multiple people hiding from the situation it's like what the heck is going on here like look at all the carnage from what has happened so yes we're definitely i really want to get more information about why that five of swords is there real quick here so Five of Swords is about defeated energy or somebody who needs to stand up and fight, okay? So that's the blockage. What's this about? Give me more information about this Five of Swords for the blockage this week. Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Ooh, there's somebody feels really bad. There's a grief card coming out. I understand that losing something is only an opportunity to appreciate it, okay? And someone is trying to be grateful, but they're lacking the courage, strength, and confidence, or there's a lack of being uh, this grateful energy. Maybe someone is not being grateful for the other person. And uh, there's a lot of grief around this, and there's a lack of courage, strength, and confidence here because of fears and accepting the situation and needing uh, a sense of forgiveness or needing to forgive somebody. Okay, so uh, for what they did. All right, so let's see what's going to happen here this week, guys. Okay. So we'll start at the first day here. All right, King of Swords shows the truth coming out. Could be somebody playing politics here with the King of Swords energy. Could be a Gemini, Libra, Chris energy too. Some of you guys maybe also be dealing with another Gemini. So this king seems to be pointing to the past and they are looking to the past for this truth, okay? Uh, we see there's a butterfly in that card and um, there are some big changes that you, you guys may or may not be aware of as of yet, but there's some changes coming in, okay? Uh, I do feel like the past is going to be pretty clear, but it's just the future that seems to be a little bit clouded, okay, uh, or confused. And so this person's kind of like, all right, I need to speak my truth. I need to take a leadership role here. So let's use the Kipper today. Excuse me, the Gypsy today. All right, for the clarification. All right, what's going to be Gemini's romantic love life for July 31st to all six? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see what's that about yeah there's this person feels very sad like i want to say and do all the right things for you gemini because i really feel bad about what happened and it looks like this person is even holding a letter and the well in this case we know we a lot of us deal with cell phones so i feel like probably there was a message on a cell phone and it's like i don't want to face this i don't want to look at it but it's kind of like they're keeping it out. Okay, so let's see what that's about going further here. 
So someone's coming forward with this truth because they feel sad, okay? So this one I've met Gemini's romantic love life, July 31st to August 6th. Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay. Oh. They're concerned there's a new love here. Oh. Okay, Ace of Cups energy. Ooh. So they're aware that you have some kind of potential love connection coming in. Mm. Okay. So let's go further here, Gemini. Oh, wow, they're stuck here. Hangman energy is coming out. A sacrifice is going to have to be made, a stuck energy. It's like ugh, someone's very tied to the situation and they're trying to bring some light to the situation. It's like this avoidance of this conversation and this choice that has to be made. That's what I feel like. Okay. The stuck situation seems to be about money. Okay. Money and finance here. So some of you guys are really work, work focused on the first here, or there's something to do with the situation surrounding money, which is causing a lot of confusion here. Okay. Okay. Let's see what else is going on here. All right. So we got the second. Now another truth's coming out, right? Truth is being spoken this week. So truth is being revealed this week here. Queen of Swords energy. This truth, spin this Queen of Swords feels to me more like, okay, I got it. I know what to say. Okay, I got, I got this. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, I know what happened before. I'm not going to regret this truth. Okay. And it's like there's knowledge being gained about it. Knowledge or knowing of what to do and how, what to say here. Okay, so it's new love connection, renewed love connection, confusions about this secret or gaining some kind of knowledge about this. Okay. Okay, so let's go further. Queen of Wands coming up. Aries, Sagittarius, Leo, Henry. So, yes, you guys are very attractive on the third, okay? You're looking good. You're looking good, okay, <laughs> on the third. It's very sexy energy. You're, you're radiating, it, radiating that out to people, okay? That's the Queen of Wands energy. Uh, yeah, definitely there's a lot of people appreciating you. Even Maybe even someone's giving you a gift on this day, okay? Trying to take care of you there. And you're like, all right, I need to make the best decision here for myself. All right, with the wisdom card coming out. All right, so let's see what's going on in the fourth here, Gemini. Okay, so someone may be traveling towards you with the cherry card energy or someone really has some really strong desires for you, okay, with the cherry card energy here. Yep, and we're getting, you're getting some kind of letter, message, document here. Okay, mm, and that's going to turn into a, also a conversation here. So, okay, Gemini. So I'm, I'm, I just want more information about what is the heck this Five of Swords is. So far, I don't understand where this Five of Swords is coming into play for this week. Why is this Five of Swords coming out? Give me more information about this Five of Swords, please. Okay, so there's some kind of expectations of some sad news and receiving a gift. Someone's thinking about house, family, or house, and travel. Oh, there's a cherry card energy. There's the information, the conversation about travel here going on. Okay, 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 let's see. Okay, so let's get more information. Okay, so we see there's a person, Gemini, wants to hold on to you. There's concerns about somebody closing the door. Ooh, okay, so I don't want to get used, and it's causing some kind of stress. So there's this debate going on about are you using me? Okay, so let's see what the last day is looking like here. Okay, Gemini. Um, all right. So far, new love, confusions about knowledge. Am I going to make the best decision? I want to have harder conversations about the stress. Oh, okay. So there's a new love connection coming in. But there is confusion about something secret or there's a lack of knowledge here. And there's these truths coming out or wanting to speak some truths about this. And there's concerns about being used. Okay, so while we see the last day is the Ten of Cups energy. All right, Ten of Cups is saying there's a happiness and luck is on your side, but there's some indecisions or a choice you're gonna have to make. So I feel like for some of you Geminis, okay, there's a new love connection, but then there's also this other person involved here, okay? And that's, there's, there's this why this confusion is going on about, am I making the best decision? There's stress about this indecision. And we come here, I'm defeated. Should I stand up and fight? Should I walk away? I need some kind of change. So there may have been this defeated energy is because of this person you already are dealing with here, this Five of Swords energy. And it's like this person caused a lot of harm, but then we got this new love person, this new love connection coming in here. And it's like 
there is some changes that have to be dealt with here. Okay, so something has to change here. Okay, but that's part of the blockage because of the fact that it's like, I gotta do something, right? I'm either gonna be defeated in that energy and walk away, or I'm gonna stand up and fight for it. Okay, so, so how did your love interest, the one you're here for, the one you wanna know about, how do they feel about you romantically? We got the Hierophant card energy, we got the High Priestess card energy, and we have the Ace of Pentacles energy. So Gemini, it looks like your love interest really wants to marry you, okay? And uh, they may even feel spiritually connected to you. Yeah, they wanna offer you something serious there with the Ace of Pentacles energy, okay? We see that, we see there's uh, receiving something of value here. Yep, mm-hmm. They wanna give you some kind of gift, something of value, and we got the marriage card coming out. Oh my God. Yes, they want some big changes to happen here. We got the shock and surprised. So they feel like, all right, I've received something of, of a benefit here. Well, with this person's feeling like, all right, I want some kind of marriage or commitment, but I, I feel like there may be some shock or surprise or concern if they offer that, there may be some shock or surprise, okay. Single and available to pursue, cutting away unhealthy things from the past and really shocked and surprised about that. Your person really feels shocked and surprised about a potential opportunity or an offer here, Ace of Pentacles energy, or they need some kind of breakthrough here because they were concerned about making some kind of abrupt decisions towards marriage. And yeah, and they're like, all right, I need to spend some time alone, all right, or single and available to pursue. I'm gonna propose to this person. It's like a proposal here. Yeah, they want to cut away being single here, and they want big changes here in the connection. Mm, this person wants to marry you. Okay. All right, so what's the Five of Swords about? Yeah, another person's involved, okay? Someone who wants to go out. Someone wants to be with you. Okay, and yep, romantic feelings. Mm -hmm. Now, that could even be their energy. They're feeling defeated. Like, I'm really trying to gain knowledge, Gemini. I'm confused about this. I love you, you know? I don't know if you're... Like, why do you have to take this time? Why are you indecisive and stressing? Let's talk about this. All right, so this could be their energy too. That's part of the blockage here. So let's see the overall energy here. Yep, there's the two of swords, some indecisions. A choice that has to be made. Indecisions about a choice. And cautious energy about getting hurt. Nine of wands. Okay, we see, yes, you guys are very attractive. There is that card, the peacock card. But there is a lot of reliving things from the past. What did I say? I felt like there was some person from the past and we see a reunion. Mm -hmm. So you kind of don't want to redo things from the past. So you're cautious about making this choice and you're indecisive about it. Now that makes sense. Okay. So we see luck is on your side because yes, there is a person coming in here and someone who's very obsessed with you and they want a relationship here, a soulmate connection. Okay. We see also, but there's still the situation from somebody before here, we see healing. Now they could actually, the person could actually be there or this is just, you're still trying to heal from that because you guys have some kind of children or a family connected here and it's causing some delays and challenges in this new situation. Now I get it, okay. You know, Geminis, I wanna hear from you guys in the comments below. I love you guys so much. Also, I wanna just get a little bit more information for you guys. What else does Gemini need to know about the romantic love life this week that they don't know, that they need to know, that could help them? Show them the cards I need to see. Show them the cards I need to see. All right, so first of all, healing, okay? And the second card was self-esteem because of regrets about the past. Okay, so some of you guys, you have to realize your value, okay? Uh, because we did see that this, um, this energy of the, this, these uh, and other individuals in your life definitely see that you're very attractive. But I don't feel like some of you guys may realize that within yourself. So realize that your value, you're attractive, okay? And uh, focus on healing that self-esteem and knowing, yes, there were things that happened to you, but forgive yourself, forgive that other person, uh, and realize it wasn't your fault. Okay, everything happens for a reason. There's always lessons behind it. Just learn that lesson and examine the situation and just learn from it, okay? But understand that you are valuable, you're beautiful, attractive, whoever you are, male or female, and really put that into your manifestation here, okay? It does seem like there are people that want to be there for you of service, okay? And there's nothing to feel bad about, okay? There's a lot to be grateful for, Gemini. 
it's you just have to gain that courage, strength, and confidence and accept that about yourself that you have value. All right. All right, my beautiful Geminis. I love you guys so much. If you guys like that, hit that like button. Let me know in the comments below. I'll see you guys another date or two. The monthlies are coming out soon, guys. So uh, check out that reading. That's going to be up and available soon. I'll give you the whole entire month of August. I love you guys so much, and I will see you guys soon.